Hello again, everyone. In today's video, I've got a small project for the Sentra. I'm going to be wrapping some of the interior panels in a black micro suede to try and improve the looks of the interior a little bit. So I figured I'd bring you guys along with me and kind of show you how you can also change up the look of some of your body panels. We'll essentially be taking the panels off the car and then wrapping them in a stretchy uh, micro suede fabric material to try and improve the looks of the vehicle. So here we go. Now, I originally wanted to do this outside where the lighting was a little bit better, but unfortunately, I do live in Texas and it is the middle of the summer, so it was 102 degrees outside. That's way too hot to be working on your car because that just makes you miserable and you begin asking yourself why you even started modding cars in the first place. So I had to pull the car into the garage, so I apologize if the following images are a little dark. Now, in this video, I'm going to be wrapping the four armrests. There's one on each of the doors. I'm also going to be wrapping the pillars in the rear of the vehicle, as seen here. Um, I've already done the A-pillars in the front of the car. Unfortunately, I don't have any video showing you how I did that, but the process is going to be similar to what I'll be showing here in this video. Um, as far as the B-pillars go with the seat belts, I'm not going to be able to do those simply because there's some sharp edges here that make uh, wrapping these pillars a little bit tricky. Now, I've already removed the panels on the driver's side, as you can see here, so we just need to remove the panels on the passenger side. So I'll show you guys how to do that, and then the panels on the driver's side will be removed in the same way. All right, I'll start by removing the armrests on both of the doors. I found that it was easiest to do this by pulling up on the uh, edge of the armrest here, and then it easily pops up. And then, of course, I'm also going to need to remove the armrest on the rear door as well. Now, in order to remove this rear panel so that we can wrap it, we need to remove the panel that's below it because it's currently holding it in place. In order to remove this panel, we need to start towards the bottom. Um, with the seats back, if you pull up on the actual cushion of the seat, it should just pop up like this. And then the next step is going to be to pull up on the panel that's here on the bottom that covers that uh, side panel. So if you just start towards the front here and then just start pulling up, it should be able to pop up. Now to remove the next panel, we're going to need to put the cushion back down and then pull the back of the seats down as well. Now you need to pull up some of the weather stripping that lines the door. You don't need to remove all of it, but just the section that lines this black panel, as well as the lighter panel that you're going to be wrapping. Now the next step is to start removing the actual panels that you're going to try and wrap. I found it was easiest to start working on the lighter panel up top first, and then start popping out the tabs as you're working your way down the darker panel. Unfortunately, these can't really be separated until you've got them both popped loose, so you're just going to need to pull both of these panels out as one piece. As you're pulling out the uh, larger black panel, you might find that some of these clips will end up popping out and then falling down to the ground near the seat. Um, so you just need to pick these back up and make sure you put them back into place. But they're pretty loose, so there's a good chance they might fall out as you're trying to pull the panel out. And with those two panels pulled out together, you just need to push on these tabs a little bit so that you can separate them. Alright, with all the panels removed, we can actually get to the fun part, which is wrapping the panels. Um, so it's important that you choose the right fabric when you're doing this. I'm using a micro suede that has like 2 or 3% spandex in it. Um, I was going to leave a link in the description below, but unfortunately Amazon's no longer selling this fabric, so you'll need to find something else. But the two key important things here is you want to pick a thin fabric, so that way when you wrap it around the panel, um, it'll still be able to snap back together and be placed back in the car when you're reinstalling it. Um, and you also want it to be stretchy so that way you can get it um, stretched smoothly around the panel and you won't have any wrinkles or folds or anything. Now in order to cut the fabric you want to lay it flat with the side that you plan on leaving exposed inside the car face down. You'll want to place the panel on top of the fabric. And then you want to cut with a few inches uh, exposed on all sides. This is to give you a little extra fabric to be able to fold over because you can always cut some off later. It'd be bad if you didn't cut enough fabric because then you may not be able to cover the entire panel. So just make sure you give yourself plenty of extra wiggle room when cutting the fabric.
Now it's time to actually install the fabric. For this I'm going to be using Loctite's high performance middle strength spray adhesive. With this stuff you have to be careful not to spray too much onto where it gets wet, otherwise it's just not going to stick at all. Uh, but you have to make sure you spray enough so that the fabric actually adheres to the panel. To start what you want to do is go ahead and grab the panel and you want to spray down the largest face on the entire panel and then you want to make sure you line your fabric up carefully and then place it down. Then you're going to want to make sure you stretch that uh, face to make sure you get all of the wrinkles out of it and then we'll start working on the smaller sides. Once you've got the largest face lined up properly and you've got all of the uh, folds out of it, then you want to start working on the sides. Just lift up part of the fabric like I'm doing here and then spray down the edge with the adhesive. Make sure you do this lightly and try and prevent any of the adhesive from getting onto the other side of the fabric that's going to be on the interior. And then you just want to stretch that fabric around the edge, making sure that you keep it tight so that you don't have any wrinkles that are forming in it, and just stretch it all the way down to the edge of the panel. Once you have the entire outer face of the panel covered, you then want to flip the panel upside down and begin trimming the fabric around the edge so that you leave maybe half an inch to an inch of fabric along each of the edges of the panel so that way you can fold it over. Uh, you don't want to leave too much or otherwise you're going to have a lot of fabric that you're going to end up having to tuck in the panel. And you want to make sure you leave just enough fabric though so that you can actually stretch it all the way around so that way you can uh, glue it in place properly. Once you have the fabric trimmed around the edge of the panel, you then want to begin working uh, one edge at a time by spraying the inside of the panel with a bit of adhesive and then pulling the fabric around to adhere to the inside of the panel. You want to make sure you pull the fabric tight to again prevent any wrinkles from forming. Once you have one edge complete, you want to check the uh, top side of the panel just to make sure that no wrinkles have formed and just continue doing this along all of the edges of the panel so that way you can get all of the fabric edges tucked in. Once all of the edges are complete, just check the top side of the panel one more time to make sure you're free of any folds or anything uh, and that you're happy with the work. And then you just need to go ahead and continue this process with the rest of the panels. On these larger panels, it might take a little more work to be able to get the creases out when you're initially placing the fabric down. You just need to make sure you take your time. Um, you may end up needing to pull the fabric up several times and re-stretching it to finally get the folds out but you want to make sure you get the side done properly first before you begin working on the edges, otherwise it's going to become more difficult to be able to get these folds out later. If you need to, you can always pull the fabric up and you can respray a bit of adhesive to make sure that it sticks. On any of these panels, you will have some of these locations on the bottom of the panel where uh, some of the clips are going to need to snap in place. You want to make sure you keep these areas clear of any fabric, so that way you can actually put your panels back together when you're ready to reinstall them. With all of the panels wrapped, we can start reinstalling them in the car. Uh, we'll start with the door panels here, the armrests. You want to insert these with the front part facing forward first. Um, it's got like a little hook or hinge that it sort of hooks into, and then you just need to press down on the top to snap it in place. Sometimes the panels will require a bit of coaxing to be able to get them put in place, but don't be too harsh with it. Once you have those armrests installed, you can then go and reinstall those two rear back panels. Um, I found that it works best if you try and reinstall the black panel first, pull the uh, bottom of the seat cushion up, and then reinsert the bottom of that black panel. 
and then you can put the cushion back down, pull the seats back, and then you can kind of position that panel loosely, but you don't want to clip it into place yet. Go ahead and reinsert the top panel that you just wrapped, and then you need to sort of finagle the top panel to try and get um, a little clip underneath the uh, headliner. And then uh, the tricky part is to try and line up the clips in the panel, uh, the bottom black panel. Uh, but you need to try and get these to line up perfectly so that way you can clip them into place. And then all you need to do is clip the top panel back in place as well and then you're all finished here. And then you just need to reinstall this bottom panel using a bit of force if necessary. And then that's it, just repeat on the other side as well and then enjoy the look of your new panels. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. That's how you wrap some of the interior panels in your 2011 Sentra in a black micro suede material. Um, I believe this material gives it a much better look than the stock panels do. Um, I'm really loving the look of it, like the feel of it as well, it's really soft. Um, I hope you guys found this video informative and hopefully it inspired you guys to you know, do something with your car. If you uh, found the video informative, give it the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, you know the drill. I'll see y'all in the next video. Later. Okay.